the Japan Defense Ministry's Technology and Logistics Acquisition Agency, ATLA, has announced the successful testing of a medium-caliber electromagnetic rakotron conducted jointly with the country's maritime self-defense forces. ATLA reported that Japan was the first in the world to test a rail gun on board a ship and supports the rapid development of this technology. There are currently no details on the timing of the tests and more specific data about this event. Images released by ATLA show successive shots from the Rakotron at different angles. This Rakotron is known to be capable of firing 40mm projectiles with a muzzle velocity of 2,230 meters per second or Mach 6.5. As for the origin of this rail gun, development began back in 1990 at Japan's Ground Systems Research Center to create a basic 16mm rail gun prototype. Subsequently, in 2016, research began to combat air and surface targets, and in 2018, Alta released footage of the research radar. In May 2022, GSRC Alta, together with Japan Steel Works, was awarded a $47.9 million contract for the development and research of a prototype Rakotron. This prototype was unveiled in May 2023, and test footage is currently on display. It should be noted that this is only a prototype rail gun, and the success of this project and its future remain in question. It is difficult to predict whether this project has been implemented and whether it will not lead to the creation of a combat system, especially considering the fact that similar projects for the development of radiotrons in the USA were closed after 16 years of work. Since Japan plans to use this type of weapon on ships, before its full deployment it is necessary to solve numerous problems related to the aggressive marine environment, temperature conditions, and other factors. If successful, the Rikotron could become an interesting means of combating hypersonic missiles. Усім дякую за перегляд. Коментуйте новини, ставте лайки, підписуйтесь на канал. Підтримуйте канал фінансово. Деталі в описі до відео. Все буде Україна.